Okay, I saw on the internet the other day a uh, way to tell gender by the veins inside of the egg within 72 hours. Uh, if you can do that, we're going to find out. We're going to use uh, leghorn mix eggs. I want to use the leghorn mix eggs because they are white. You'll be able to see the veins inside them a little bit better than you would, say, using a brown or a blue. So, we're going to try that one. Uh, we'll try some other myths that you can tell gender by the shape of an egg. That one was, let's see if I can find two different ones here. these two here I believe. If I can get that one out of there. So by the tip of the egg we're talking how this one is pointy and this one is rounded. I'll have to look again I'm not sure which one it was I believe the boy was the pointy end and the girl was the rounded end. We'll double check but we'll uh, set it up where we put on the eggs what we think by the shape of the egg. Okay, so like in the picture I just showed you with the uh, egg being pointy or rounded, we'll start off by putting our eggs up on the rack here. Be very careful on how we do this. So, again, egg like this, we're going to guess female. So we are going to write on, and I use pencil, I know some people use marker, I do not use marker. Um, if you believe that little pieces of bacteria can get into your egg and make the egg bad or other things like that, again this is what you believe in and you go by what you do. We use pencil because I, I believe the marker can absorb through. We have better successful hash rates when we don't use marker. We've done it early in our career of doing this. And now that we're uh, a little more serious about it, we only use pencil. So we will mark the date, which we are on the new year. So we are going to put in a 1 1. We'll put that right up on the top where the air sac is. Now, in the reading of everything you're to have the egg laying on its side when incubating so because we put it on the side we'll lay them on the side here and we're starting off with rounded egg we'll mark an F for female that's what I believe that is going to be we'll have that sitting back there this one here, I mean, it's going to be a judgment on everybody else also. But I'm going to say female on this one, uh, male on this one. So again, we'll do all this one, one. And I will put, uh, actually we're not going to use this one. We'll find another egg to do. This one has some cracks. I don't know if you can see the hairline cracks or not on this. But we'll try and get another one instead of this one. Before I continue on, I want to show you uh, the cracks in this egg. If you put your light on it, there you go, you can see them a little bit better. I don't think they're cracks, but it, it's definitely a problem with the egg. We will not incubate this one. We'll end up putting this for uh, food for the birds. Okay, here we are. I found a replacement, which is going to be this one right here. I marked it with an M. I do believe that is a little more pointy than what we're looking at here. So, again, you decide what you think. If you want to follow along, write your own chart, and we'll compare. You know, that's great. But what we'll also do is, on the egg, is we will write... Uh, 
a number on it. So we'll give each one of them a number so when we do have them hatch, I'll keep them all separated so when they hatch they'll be by themselves in their own little spot. So under the female, I'm just going to write a number one. Sorry for our sloppy work. I'm not that great at it with handwriting. Now we'll just number two. Okay. And we will do that all the way through. I am going to mark this as female. Number three. Again, it's your choice. I'm, again, that's a tough one, but I'm going to write a uh, female on it. Sorry, we got to write a number four. Hmm. And if we're lucky, they're all going to be female. That's number five. We're going to do 12 eggs. I think that should be enough to start out with if we uh, see any uh, different ones that are... Sorry, I don't know what I was saying there. If we see anything that is plausible, you know, we can start a whole new hatch and, you know, these incubators are great. We can hatch a couple hundred birds at a time. Uh, also, if you're interested in the incubators, we have on our link tree, our profile page, that you can go into Hatching Time and see all of the products they have. I love the incubators. Uh, we used to use uh, smaller ones, and they just got to be too much of a hassle. Our success rate in hatching has gone up a lot, too, since using uh, what was it, the, the Nurture right. Uh, these here uh, cost quite a bit more, but in all, if you're serious about hatching, this is what you want to go with, something, a cabinet. It just works wonders. Okay, so here again, your call, what you want to say. I'm going to write an F on it. I'm going to say female again, just because I've seen more pointy. And we are on number six. a little more of a point on the top of this egg here. We're going to go male, number seven. And in here it doesn't really matter how the eggs get laid in, but we're going to have them like that. Um, it doesn't matter. I, I have a point going one way, point going the other way. Again, I don't think it matters. Another one, I believe, female. That is number eight. Here. Here we are. Another one. I'm going to go a little more pointy on that top. I'm going to go male. Number eight. Nope. Oh, I'm sorry. I just did eight that. That is the other nice thing about using pencil versus marker. Quick little erase and you got a number nine. Use marker you're going to be using a lot on there just to try and get it um, cleared off so you remember what's what. And if you're using that marker that's that's a lot of marker chemical that's on that eggshell. You know, if you believe it can go in it or not Again, up to you. You do what you do, what works for you, that's great. We do it separately, and we don't give argument. It's everybody has their own way. Okay, here's another. I'm going to say rounded top, and that's going to be another female in my opinion. And we are on number 10. The way this is looking, I, I hope it's right. 
and definitely always enjoy getting more females. This one here, a little more pointed on the top, I believe. Now, I'm going to go male on this one. And that's number 11. Oops, I almost wrote a smiley face. I have hard enough time writing as it is. I put a little curve on there and it just makes it almost impossible for me. And here we are again, last one, number 12. And it's looking very round to me. So we're going to go female. Number 12. Okay, and I did look at all the eggs before we did this. I do have the air sac marked with the 1-1 one, one on it. So, there we are again. Everything's in. We're saying 12 is female. We'll put that over here. And if I have it right, that is 4 male and 8 female. If that ratio pans out, I will be thrilled. All right, I will put them in the incubator now. I'm going to open this cabinet up. I do have some eggs in there right now. And oh, hold on a second here. I got a pause. I was getting a phone call. Yeah, the call's not important, but let's start this. I do have eggs in here that I've already started. These will not interfere with anything. I'm going to put these guys right here on top. See the incubator is dirty, so don't mind that mess too much. We have been hatching eggs, and it uh, gets dirty, as anybody that hatches eggs know. Okay. Close that up, and we will see you in about 72 hours, and see how things look.